Hi, welcome to this video. It's going to be about cursors. Cursor, the X cursor breeze, the breeze, and Bibata ice in particular. We're working on the machine for April, and at this point in time, if you update, of course, you see that there is no number behind here. Doesn't matter, I always told you numbers are not important. But if you want to know, and if, you, if we ask you to provide us with a number, then SysInfo will gather all the data on your computer and display it if it has some. Okay, there it is. And then we see here a number. Faster is that you just type in cat etc lsb release, but it's just a file in your machine, doesn't do anything really. I could have written there 20,455 as well, and your system will still work. So that's a version number. That's where you started the, with, you, you burned an ISO and you started installing, that's a number. And if you never update, if you don't use the stay rolling scripts, that's the ISO you started with. So it's some point and a reference point in a timeline. More, it's nothing more than that. Okay, so what about this uh, cursor? The one you're looking at is the Bibata Ice, and I've made the tutorials, well, posts online on our social media that we are going to move to Bibata Ice as the standard one. So this is going to be the cursor, the standard cursor, Bibata Ice. Looks a bit like our breeze, it's white as well, and well, it's, it's nice. But that's not the reason why we do it, because it's nice. It's one of the reasons, I must admit. I like the icon, but what happened in the past? What did we do in the past? Why this changed? It's important that you know all that, because knowledge is power. And with knowledge, you can solve issues, and you will have issues because other users have them too. But if you have the knowledge, you can solve it yourself. And the thing is, if you do sudo pacman minus s x cursor breeze, I'm going back in time. This is the package we used to have. It's now available on our repo third party. Normally, you would do this with yay because it's an AOR stuff, right? AOR, Arch User Repository. You can get any of the cursors. There are lots of cursors more on AWAR. We like this one. We made a package for it and it's now in our repo. That's because of our Arch Linux D revolution you will see in April. So the X cursor breeze is the snow cursor, but just that. So let's install it so you see what I mean. It's one line, right? One line is installed in our system. So we were loving this. This was uh, how it should be, how it would be, how it can be uh, like this. Let's, okay, here it is. Red, it's installed. Visually, it depends on this, okay, conflicts with that. That's already important for you to know. X cursor breeze will always conflict with breeze. It's either of them not two of them. Pacman cannot cope with a package that's going to write the same files and folders. Here are the files, here are the folders. Breeze, and down here, Breeze Snow. And this was used to be the, the standard one, and it is still the standard one on Plasma. Breeze is part of KDE Plasma. And that's that was the trouble. Users um, who are going to, who are using Plasma, they have the breeze installed. The X cursor breeze and the breeze will clash. Now with all our tweaking, our Arch Linux tweak tool, remember, so I'm pressing Ctrl Alt E, the tweak tool and all the shift in packaging, naming and all that that we've done, we can now install 15 desktops on our system. 15 desktops. It doesn't matter with which ISO you start. You just say i3, install, done. It's there. It waits for you. Just log out, log in. At the top, we, we change our desktop there. When we log out, that's it. Simple as that. It's no worry anymore. 
But there are always tricks, always tricky things. And this is one of the tricky things. X cursor breeze is going to clash with the breeze, always. And then you get an error. If you want to install Plasma and you have X cursor breeze installed, it clashes. And the machine here will say, well, broken, not installed to desktop. So it is important to know that this is just a GUI, a graphical user interface to scripts, sudo pacma minus s install this, install that. But things happen in the back end where it goes wrong. So this is a very small uh, package. It has no dependencies whatsoever, or just one line there. So if you want to have the cursor, we could have a look at the cursor. So with this package, I get breeze light, remember? Nice. Just one thing. Okay. Now, when I want to install the breeze icons, so at some point in time, I said, let's take the breeze icons because people always uh, get conflicts and they don't know that breeze and X-cursor breeze that they conflict. So let's um, use breeze icons. When we install that, there you go. We have the conflict. But Pacman helps us, right? In the terminal, it helps us. But in the Article Linux 3 tool, it can't cope with that. So it has to be a clean machine without this X cursor breeze, and then Plasma will just install. So I'm gonna remove here, say yes. Look at this. So we decided to go ahead with all the dependencies that suddenly a cursor, a small mouse cursor, requires all of this. We did not decide it. That's a package from Extra Breeze. That's Arch Linux. So Arch Linux says Breeze requires all that. I said, okay, it's just 20 megabyte, 25 megabyte, 30 megabytes. In the end, it's in the download size. Eh? This is installation size. In download size, it's still okay. Uh, so meaning ISO as well. So okay, well, um, let's do this and let's proceed. Now that's one decision. The other decision happened a few weeks ago. We get an update and we get an update of all these packages. We get lots of stuff, lots of K stuff in. And K stands for Plasma because Breeze is part of Plasma. So if you're in Plasma, it's great. You need it anyway for other applications. But on XFCE, on Awesome, on BSP, we have 14 other desktops. It's overkill for a cursor. And it's still okay if it's just that one time, but it was a weekly bunch of updates. And then had this feeling, no. For a cursor, that's a little bit over the top. So we have an alternative. We have the Bipata Ice, right? So there is another cursor called Bipata cursor theme. That's the complete name, Bipata cursor theme. And that's the one we're using here right now. And that's going to be the uh, official one. You may have seen the, the posts on our social media that we're changing and we'll go through all our desktops because it's quite a big change in the sense that 15 desktops have to change except one Plasma. So 14 desktops have to change. Plasma will keep the standard theme of the snow breeze. So we have the Bibata cursor as standard. We have now the other one as well. It's still okay. This won't clash or anything. Uh, if I use Breeze and Bibata and I want to install any of my desktops, then you're in the safe zone, right? This is still okay. I can install Plasma because, well, Breeze won't clash with what we have in here, because Breeze is part of Plasma. It's just this X cursor Breeze that gives us problems. If you decide to have that, later on in April, Arcolinx DISO will give you the choice to either install the Breeze icon or the X cursor Breeze. It's up to you, but remember, it conflicts. So it won't install in here in our tweet tool unless you resolve the conflict. And the best thing to do is actually run. Um, if, you, if there are problems with the, 
the tweak tool is just run it from here. I always say that, did you try running this particular application from the terminal? And it, we only hope that whatever is going to be in here is going to help us figure out what's going wrong. If you would like to say, I'm going to install i3, the desktop is installed. I'm working on the flagship, right? So the XFCO box i3, Qtile, not installed. And what's going to happen, it's going to make a list. This is nice, right? But it's a GUI. It's doing the things you always do, sudo pacman minus s, sudo pacman minus s, all the way down. Until maybe there's a conflict, and then it says desktop is not installed. Hence, take a look at the code in here. So normally, if you take care of, of packages that conflict, then normally everything would be okay. Let's now also continue with the story that I've just installed Breeze, right? sudo pacman minus rs Breeze. What if you wanted to remove Breeze? You say, no, uh, Eric is right in the point that for a cursor, it's a little bit lots, a lot of packages and a lot of updates as well. Uh, I'm gonna follow the ISO of Arcanlink. So I'm gonna stay rolling. I'm gonna mimic. I'm gonna mimic, yeah, the exact choices that we've made on our ISOs, right? Then this has to go. And that's the R minus S. Now, it wouldn't be Arch Linux if we had made a nice little script for this. We have our scripts to stay rolling. Super Shift Enter. The ID of the folder, Control H, Control H, is in here. If you did an update, and if you did the scale afterwards, then you have a bin folder, stay rolling 2020, 2003 with a package, well, a, a script. And you can open this thing. And all it does, this is all stuff. The important stuff is here. All it does is remove me the Pac-Man breeze. But it's gonna ask you, do you want it? Yes, no, your response is yes, okay. And this one is just gonna be installed. Pacman minus S, confirm Bibata cursor theme. So the idea of the scripts is to keep exactly the same as the ISO. Keep rolling, never install, never clean install. So if we do a stay rolling script, then we read, decide whether you want to keep or remove the breeze package. It's up to you guys. Breeze is a beautiful cursor for Plasma. It also brings in a lot of dependencies. If you say, I like my Breeze, you just keep updating. Plasma users are advised to keep the Breeze cursor. Well, you couldn't remove it anyway. It's a dependency of Kwin. Answer yes or yes. So small or capital, if you want to remove it. And if we say yes, then you see we have got, we got rid of all the packages. So he's removing all of these guys. But it's a choice and it's your choice. We've made our choice for the ISO. I think it will resolve a lot of issues and will um, overcome problems in the future. And of course, that's always been the point of our distro fun, no frustrations. Hence, we need knowledge. We need to share what to do, how to do it and uh, how to overcome issues because there's always a reason for it, but um, knowing why is important for us. Okay, um, I'm out, it's all up to you. Freedom as usual, you choose what cursor you wanna have. I just give you the knowledge how to change it. All right, I'm out.